All right, fish homies. If you didn't notice, I shaved my beard and my hair. <laughs> so that's why I look different. Anyways, back to the task at hand, if that's a saying. We're yeah. going to the lake tonight after work. It's like eight o'clock, so we'll probably be there around nine or so. And we're gonna cast out for a couple hours, but we're gonna fish it hard tomorrow. We might have a good chance. We got a nice little mix of boilies, corn, and hemp. We might be able to show you that. It's already dark out. We're planning on getting there during the day tomorrow so we can show you more and uh, this and that. But anyways, fish homies, for now, we'll catch you later. For now. Later. For later. All right, guys, we made it out to the lake. It's freaking dark. It's freaking freezing, but we're fishing. What time is it, Bill? Time check. We got a time check here, uh, 9.30. 9.30, folks, you heard it here first. So we'll probably be here till like 11 or 11.30, maybe. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. But tomorrow, we're hitting it hard. So stay tuned for that or for whatever happens. You know what I'm saying, fish hemis? It's like 11.30, we stayed for two hours. We didn't get any bites or anything, but we got some bait out there. And oh, that's yeah. the important part. We made the effort to get here after work late and put in the work. So tomorrow, we'll catch a bunch of them. You know what I mean? Hopefully we get like a koi or one over 20 or like a ghost carp or something. Dope, I'm Bill. Oh yeah, something dope tomorrow. Let's <laughs> get it. <laughs> Boy, it's cold though. Holy yeah. oh, It's hell. freezing. But we put out some corn, some hominy, some hemp, and some two kinds of boilies. So hopefully they like that and they start feasting and we uh, get them feasting on our hooks. It is redemption time. Ready to go. We got some Red Bull. Bill got one too, but he's not drinking it yet. Cause I got he's, a little Perrier he's going. He's got that Perrier. Perrier water. He's getting European for the European style fishing. Cheers. Even though we forgot our uh, alarms and rod holders, but it's all good. We're getting old school. We've been doing it like that lately, so we're kind of used to it anyways. But uh, we're about to hop on the freeway. We'll probably be there at like 4.30 p.m. And we're gonna try and fish through the night. Our buddies baited up a different lake down south and didn't have the best luck. And then another friend didn't have very good luck either up north. So hopefully we're in the middle and uh, we're gonna have good luck. <laughs> hey, Bo. Uh, yeah, I think we're right in the middle. So uh, let's just uh, let's hope for the best. I think we got a pretty good uh, chance tonight to uh, get a couple here. Get a couple. We did everything right. Get yep. everything right. Yep. Except everything we didn't right. get our package from Big Crack Tackle, so wow. we still don't have new hooks or anything. So uh, we, kept, we didn't do everything right, but we did everything right. So yeah, everything right, but not everything. Yeah. That, that's not on us. That's on the old United States Postal Service. Yep. Not chill. And on us for not bringing the alarms and stuff. <laughs> But uh, anyways, I was going to say something else, but I forgot. Got something on it. It feels real tiny. Oh, it's trying to go in your rod. Where's the net at? Oh, it's over there. I don't know. It's fighting pretty good. I think it's alright. Last time I caught one this tiny, it was a little boy. Dude, where is this? Bro? It's right here. It's not very big, but it's freaking fighting like crazy. Doesn't want to come in. Inside of, oh, huh. There he is. Oh, I'm sticking back. Land 
Commando. Commando. Uh, that was a good fight for such a little one, dude. Holy. First fish of the night. The sun is going down. Well, it's like pretty much down now. It's probably like around five o'clock. I think we've been here for like an hour. This one's real small, but it put up a crazy fight for how big it was. Got a little party going on over here. <laughs> Yeah, you can see how feisty he is. He won't even put his top fin down. Anyways, first fish of the night. Get him back in. Gotta let these guys go in the sting because the rocks are getting a little bit hard. But, uh, he's off with the quickness. Alright, Bill, let's get some more. Been here for like less than an hour. It's only 5.30 and we got one already. It wasn't a giant, but, uh, that was a pole that was like off the spot. We're focusing on one spot and that pole is probably like 20 or 30 yards to the right. So uh, maybe the fish just haven't quite moved on to the bait yet, but uh, we're still getting them. So hopefully here in like an hour or two, we'll get a bunch more and hopefully a big one. Quick update, Billy just uh, got a nice bite. It took a nice little run, but somehow it came off. Like our hooks are old. So like we've been saying a million times. So anyways, we cast it back out. He got another liner, like something hit his line like almost immediately after he casted it. So hopefully we're on him now. That's just a little update. Got one, missed one, and hopefully we're about to get another one soon. It's only been like an hour, maybe a little over an hour, but but not much. Probably probably an hour. Anyways, we're gonna get back at him. Spencer recasted about five minutes ago. Max. Probably. I just reeled mine in. As I was reeling mine in, Spencer hooked up on one. Yo, boy, hopefully I land this one, boys. We've been losing a lot lately. We need sharper hooks. I have a hook sharpener, and I sharpened my hook before I casted it out, so I don't know if that helped or not, but let's hope I get him in, huh? It's been a couple hours since our last one, or actually it's only been like an hour and 30 minutes, or an hour. It's been an hour, an hour and 30 minutes since our last one. We've been getting our lines messed with a little bit, but no bites, so this is a nice little relief for us here, huh, Bill? Oh yeah. Oh, he's fighting real crazy. He's running all up and down the line. Hopefully we don't break off here, boys. This is getting crazy. I'm glad mine reeled mine in because he's going over to where mine was. Yeah. So it might be just perfect timing here, folks. All right, boys, we've been fighting him for a minute now. I haven't got a bite for a few, or like one and a half hours, like I said. Our hooks are not that good, but I did resharpen them before I cast out. So hopefully, he stays nailed, boys. We will see. He's fighting real good. Haven't seen him yet. It doesn't feel like a huge one. Maybe like the same size as the last one, but we'll see. He's digging, boys. He is digging deep. I'd say he's digging his own grave, but we're gonna let this guy go. Hopefully he doesn't let himself go. Oh, he's right below me, guys. I saw a little tail. These guys are real fights. They're getting right under us and we can't even lift them, and they're tiny. There's the first sighting. Looks about the same size as the other one, maybe a little skinnier. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, he's not ready. Oh, oh. It's the advantage of these big rods, guys. You use them to let the fish tire themselves out. Instead of using their drag, you can use your pole to go up and down. When they take a big leap, you can let your pole go down a little bit, kind of like I'm doing. And it's easy to bring them right back up. Keep pressure on them the whole time. That's what you got to remember. It's really slapping up and down the line. It would help if I could walk up and down, but it's just too hard with the big nets. Oh, God. There he comes. Oh, 
in the net. Not the most graceful netting, but we got him. All right, guys, this is a porker. I don't know how easy it's gonna be to hold. It's very short, but nice and fat. You can see on the tail there, it also has a crazy scale pattern like the one we caught, I think in the last video, maybe the one before that. But it's definitely been eating the bait. This thing's only like 24 inches, maybe like 30 inches, but it's probably like 12 pounds, maybe a little more. Nothing like the European carps, but you can see it's got a nice belly on it. Anyways, we're probably gonna get this guy back, or girl, and try and get another one. It's one more thing we did. Before we even took pictures or put the fish back, we casted out Billy's rod so we can have the rod waiting for another fish. Sometimes if you cast it out, you can get a second one right away. If we're fishing three or four rods, two rods each right now, we'd probably be getting doubles a lot, but it's just not worth it with all the tangles. Anyways, you can see we're using a waist sling here too to release the fish because of this little steep cliff and it's just a little safer for the carp. Off to get Number two. Ding. <laughs> uh -huh. Alright guys, before I can even get my rod back out there, Billy is on one. Don't fight him too hard, Bill. Take it nice and easy. These guys are crazy fighters. Alright guys, like five minutes after we took the pictures and everything, couldn't even get my rod back out there. Billy is on one. It took a nice run. We don't know how big it is yet. How's it feel, Bill? Yeah, not huge. It's, uh, it's shaking a little for sure. All right, maybe we got a big old catfish or something. We'll see. I think I'm gonna uh, put the camera down so I can net him. How about that, Bill? Sounds good. <laughs> All right, Billy Boy's got his PB channel for sure. How'd that fight, Bill? Good. It started ticking as I was reeling it in. We got it to about 10 feet. Just took off. <laughs> it's probably like 12 or more pounds. I think we're gonna weigh it. It's definitely Billy's PB. I've caught one close to that size, but I think Billy's got me for it, sure. How, how, how could you tell the difference between a catfish and a carp? Like the way wasn't, they... There wasn't the constant pressure on the line. When you were reeling it in, it was just shaking. Like big old head shakes. Yep. Nice, nice uh, cat here, boys. Time to let that big old beast go back. It's like, you can't tell how big it is in the video. The, the head on that thing, it's twice as big as my hand. There he goes. Oh, and he gone. Nice, Bill. <laughs> Same thing just happened. We're fishing for like an hour and a half, no bites. I recasted, Billy recasted. Like five minutes later, he's on one. It took a nice run. Is it in my line, Bill? It is? All right, I gotta put the camera down and get this untangle lead. We had the carp. Chilling in the waist sling this whole time. We got both the other rods casted out and I completely forgot about it. The homies were like, are we gonna take pictures or what? And I was like, oh yeah. It's flopping around right now. So uh, we're gonna let it calm down and then get some pics of Billy and the old carper. Yeah, boy, that one's good. Dude, that one's like perfect looking. Like the scales and everything are perfect. How is it, Bill? Nice one here. Took a couple in couple nice runs out there got a nice little belly full of our boilies I think yeah um, threw it out and like expensive maybe 10 minutes later boom this thing took off got him so, nice fight nice uh, carp for me for sure so you got that big cat and a big carp let's get that pick and get him back in there fish number four going back he had a lot of rest up in there, so he's probably gonna go back pretty quick. You can dip him deeper. Just put the front of the net down. Yeah, it's taking his nice time. You can see the big old belly on it. Oh, there he goes. Nice build. All right, fish homies, hour like four and a half or something here. And uh, Spencer is on one. He's thinking it's a catfish, though. We're literally but, about to go home. Like, I said 10 more minutes. At 11 o'clock, we're going. It's probably like 11 o'clock an hour, like 10.55. But I think it's a catfish. It feels like there's a lot of head shakes. 
but it is swimming pretty fast. So we will see if the hook doesn't fail. <laughs> been saying that every cruise, but we'll see here in a second. Oh, it's, it's right by the shore. Right the it's carp. You want me to try to net it? No, I can net it. I'm just trying to keep it out of your rod so you can still fish. Come back this way. Alright, Spence is still on it. Officially a carp, we saw it. Came in shallow. There it is. Here it comes. Back up. He's coming right now. You got him. Yep. He's done. He's done, folks. Finally. Nicely done. I thought it was bigger, but now that I look at it, it doesn't look very big. So we're fishing for like another hour and a half. Uh, Billy missed one. And then like 20 minutes later, hooked up on this one. It fought for a long time. It did not want to come in. It like came into the shore like almost immediately. But then I couldn't net it. Luckily my hook stayed up and it freaking got landed in the net somehow. <coughs> but uh, I think we're gonna get out of here pretty soon. It's always hard to leave when you're catching them, but I think everyone's getting a little tired. The bite slowed down. This guy feels really cold, so I think the, it's weird, like the water temperature's dropping by the minute or something, but this guy's ice cold, so hopefully we can get him back. But we will get him back and he'll get back into the old uh, warm spot where he was, maybe. They're all nice and fat, though. This guy's already ready to swim away. Ah. A little hydroplane, dude. Whoops. <laughs> 